guys, we're about one here, and today I'm doing the future of Yu-Gi-Oh on my channel, and today we are talking about the Metal Phosis Monsters, or Archetype. And today, and for you guys who have not seen the future of Yu-Gi-Oh segment before, on this segment I talk about cards, archetypes, decks, and anything in the future of Yu-Gi-Oh that I think will be good, or have some potential to be really powerful. So today let's get started with this, and we're starting off with the first monster, Metal Phosis Vol Flame. Now Metal Phosis Vol Flame is a fire level 7 scale 8 with 2400 2000 defense. It has no monster effect and its pendulum effect is, once per turn you can target one other face up card you control, destroy it. And if you do, set one Metamorphosis Spell Trap card directly from your deck. So, that effect is actually quite a, kind of decent, because it allows you to research through your entire deck and set any, set any Metamorphosis cards directly from your deck, which can actually really help the deck out from its own perspective. So, being able to set cards directly from your deck, even their own Fusion card, because this is technically a Fusion pen to the Mark type, and we'll get onto the Fusion card in a minute, and then just being able to use it instantly to make your big boss monsters can be really helpful. So yeah, that's a really good card and it's a high scale. And it can also be searched off stuff like summoners are. So you can be searching through your deck for scales easily as well. So, the next card we're going to be talking about after this is Metal Phosis Gold Driver. Now Metal Phosis Gold Driver is a fire level 4 scale 1. 1900 attack, 500 defense. So this is the low scale of the deck. Its effect is, well, pendulum effect, sorry. Once per turn, you can target one other face up card you control, destroy it. And if you do, set one Metal Fosis Spell Trap card directly from your deck. So that effect is basically the same as the first one. And it's just another way to get him out. So, seeing this deck so far, it seems like it's going to have a lot of ways to set their spell and trap cards directly from their deck to make it easier to get your field to make it easier to get your big fusion monsters out to make your fusion monsters, obviously. And it's also your rank f level four, so you can make your rank four plays with this. And also, all of these monsters seem to be psychic. So, yeah. And one other thing, guys. What I see most out of these, uh, out of this artwork and these cards, is that they just look like ignites riding cars, bikes, and all of that. So I don't get why Konami didn't make these into like cars, into like an ignite uh, support thing, because it would make more sense. Even though they're not warriors, they could have made it like an ignite thing, because it does look like they look like ignite monsters. So yeah. Um, the next card we're going to be talking about is Metal Phosis Steel Eren. Steel Eren is a fire level 2, scale 8, 0 attack, 2100 defense. It is a normal monster. It's, so this is basically the e tele target of the deck because these all, because all these monsters are psychic and this one is a level 2, you can e tele it straight out of the deck. And if you've got one of these in your scale, then you can be like, use that, use one of their effects, destroy it. And then just set this directly from deck or something, and then just su and then just be able to special summon it back with your pendulum summon. So that actually really does seem like it will be a really good thing to play, and it really does look like a really good card. So so far, this archetype looks like it's just a very heavy search archetype for its spell and trap cards to be able to make its big boss monsters. And from the looks of it, you can also add in cards, say like Ghost Ogre, the actual Ignite cards, and all these other cards, just to make the deck even better. Because, and you can even probably add in stuff like Odd Eyes, Pen to the Dragon, Sky Iris, all of this, just to make this deck go a bit faster as well. And I think I might test something out with this deck, because this deck does seem like it'll be a very decent deck to play. So, yeah. And let's go on to the spell card that they play, which is Metophosis Fusion. Now, Metophosis Fusion is a normal spell card. Its effect is... Fusion summon one Metaphosis Fusion Monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or your side of the field as fusion materials. So basically it's a polymerization for the Metaphosis archetype. 
And because of these guys, you can just set it directly from the deck, so it makes it easier to be able to fusion to summon your big boss monsters. And its next effect is, if this card is in your graveyard, you can shuffle this card into your deck, then draw one card. You can only use this effect of Metamorphosis Fusion once per turn. Now that's actually a really good effect as well, because if you've got this in your graveyard, you're obviously going to want to shuffle it back, so you can then so then you can then draw an additional card. And because of these guys, you can just be like destroy another card and then set it directly from your deck again to be able to fusion summon again. So basically, you could get a maximum of maybe even two to three if you open up two of these fusion summons that turn. All because you may, all because you can recycle the actual card, which is actually really good. So yeah, that's a great effect, and I think it'll be played a lot. You'll probably have to play this card at three purely because of that effect as well. <laughs> Sorry guys, my voice is going a little haywire because I've been yelling a bit. So yeah, let's move on to the next one, Metalphosis Cardinal. Now, Metaphosis Cardinal is a 3,000 attack, 3,000 defense, normal monster. It takes one Metamorphosis card monster and two monsters with 3,000 or less attack. So, this is basically the boss monster of the deck in a way because it's got the biggest attack, but I don't think this will be a card really used in the deck. It'll probably be used at one, in my opinion, because it's not really that great a card. And you, it's and also pe you getting rid of three monsters to summon it isn't really that good in my opinion. So that's a it's a good card because it's got a free three k beat stick, um, but it's got two bigger costs to summon. And if you want to summon it to get over say a monarch player, then it is kind of worth it. But I wouldn't say it is a good card to play. So yeah. And the final card we're going to be talking about is Metal, Metal Phosis Ori Hulk. I think that is Ori. I don't know how to pronounce this sh this name. I'm sorry, guys. I'm hoping it's Ori Hulk. So, yeah. Metal Phosis Ori Hulk is a level 8 fire monster. 2800 attack, 2000, uh, 2000 and 200 defense. It takes two Metal Phosis cards to make this card. And its effect is, if a Metamorphosis monster you control attacks a defense position monster, it inflicts double piercing damage to your opponent. So that's actually a really good effect because if you're if this card or say even if you have this card and I deleted the card, okay, let's just get that back quick, guys, because I need the card to be able to explain my facts, don't I? I'm sorry. There we go. So, you could be like, if this card attacks a zero defense position monster, not like there's a lot of monsters with zero defense, but this is just an example, then you're going to be dealing 6k damage to your opponent just because you have this on board, which can be really good. Even if you're killing it with something like this, or even this, you're going to deal a big amount of damage. Even with, say, this, you're dealing at least maybe... Ooh, if you're killing, let's see, what's, you could probably deal at least maybe mm, 200, maybe less, but yeah, 200 probably the most damage with this, well, the least damage, and probably the most, and the most would be 2800, I mean, no, 3800, sorry. So, all because of this effect, you're dealing a ton of damage, and you can't believe how much damage you, it, good is in this game. Even though life people say that life points are just a resource, you still don't. It's still vital to you winning the game. If you're getting rid of their life points really fast, then they are going to lose eventually because they can't keep onto their life points that long. Can in this game, and there's not really a lot of decks in this game that recite regain life points easy. Like the only deck that I can think of that actually revolves around gaining life points is the is the Aromage archetype, and this can like and this can just blow through huge amounts of damage. So this would probably wreck the archetype anyway. So yeah. But, and, it's, and this card's last effect is, if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can target one card on the field, destroy it. So that's kind of like, you kill me, I kill you sort of effect. So he's not going alone, it's kind of like Kamikaze and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that's a decent effect, and this is probably the best card in the Aura Hot, in the um, Metal Morphous deck. And because, and from the looks of it, guys, 
this set, this because of these cards say spell and trap cards, or spell slash trap, it means that this deck could is probably going to be getting more support. So we, you can actually see that there will be more support for this deck, and it will be, and it could even be better than it is now. But and guys, I'm gonna plan on testing this guys for you, and then maybe show you a deck profile or something like that to see, so you can guys can try this out yourself. So yeah. Please tell me what you thought of this video, guys. Tell me if you liked the Future of Yu-Gi-Oh! segment. And please, like, comment, and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And I will see you next time, guys. And please tell me what you think of this Metal Focus archetype. I'll be seeing you guys. Thanks for watching.